Hello crafty friends and welcome back to my stamping corner. Today I wanted to show you how I added texture to these feathers by using the scratching method. What I used was watercolor paper and an edge of a credit card or I think this was a gift card from Starbucks that I had that expired. So um, I just cut it up and I'm just going to use one of the corners. And what I'm what I use is a, a clean paintbrush and clean water. And I'm going to add water to my card stock or to my watercolor paper. I don't think it'll work with uh, regular paper just because I think it's too thin because you need a little, you know, something thicker. And this is a 300 series of the Strathmore. So there's some water. Now I'm going to add some color. And these are just um, Statler watercolor pencils that I've had forever. But you can use whatever your favorite way to uh, watercolor dye. Um, you can use distress pens or inks. Just adding a little color here. I like to get it straight from the lead because it's more concentrated and I'm not really this is kind of like a base coat to start with okay so there's some color then I take the, the corner of my card and I'm going to scratch it right into the the die going pretty deep you pretty much need to get the water kind of soaked into the, the watercolor paper for this, you know, to work. You need to kind of soften up those fibers. All right, so scratching pretty, pretty deep. This would be so pretty, I would think, if you did hair. Now, I don't usually... Um, you know, color people. I don't do Copic market markers at all, but um, you know, you could try it with watercolor and then just do the the scratching for the hair to add the texture. I'm just using the same color and I'm going in, and the dark pigment of the the lead is sinking into the the crevices that we scratched in. Add more water. Looky there. Isn't that lovely? All right. We clean my brush. And I'm going to go in with this blue using a different color than that yellow. I figure the blue might show up better. And wherever it's white, oh, I've got too much water. Let's try again. Same thing goes straight from the lead onto my watercolor paper, going around around the edges. Now I chose these colors because I thought it looked more like what you might find in nature. But I think it would be pretty cool if you could do something like this with the ink tints pencils. All right, so that is it. That is my technique. I'm so going to show you the, the dies that I use. These were from Simon Says Stamp December back in 2013. I believe it's their brand, even though it comes in different packaging usually. And then the sequins I used was from Pretty Pink Posh. The circle was from Little Inkers, where the stitching line is on the inside and the outside. The sentiment is from Stamps of Life. Uh, it's called Branches to Flowers. Anyway, so um, I was going to tell you, for the watercolor paper, I buy the big pad, and then I, I, let me show, this is what I buy. I buy a big pad, and I cut it down to card sizes, and whatever is left over, I have a little scrap pile, and that's what I've been pulling to make, to, you know, to die cut these feathers. If you learned anything, you enjoyed the video today, if you'll give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. You can find most of my um, my cards on Instagram, R-A-N-C-I-E-R-T. I also have a Facebook. It's uh, Depleting the Stash. And my blog is Depleting the Stash at uh, dot blogspot.com. Thank you for joining. Have a crafty day. Bye-bye.